Tim's gonna work on that clutch on his own this week. I got a buddy come over and help him sometime this week, so that'll be good. They need two people to adjust it anyways, get the clutch pedal all adjusted right. But uh, I just dropped the girls off at the terminal and go park, and then it's uh, fly to Louisville today. See you guys at the farm show. What is that called again? National Farm Machinery Show. Hi, I'm Tony Fast's daughter. I'm Tony Fast's daughter. I'm Tony Fast's daughter. Our family has been blessed to farm in Montana for over 100 years now. And it wouldn't be possible without the great team we have and blessings from our Savior, Jesus Christ. You excited to be in Louisville? How do you say it? Lu Louisville. 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 Louisville? I think it's Louisville. Yeah. Are you excited to be here? Sure. <laughs> she hasn't been feeling the greatest. Me out. Look what she's got with her, though. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Book. You set, set to rumble for the day? Yeah. <laughs> you ready to go hit some home runs at the Slugger, at the Slugger sure. Museum? Sure. <laughs> How do you say the name of the city we are in? Wrong answers only. Wrong answers? Louisville. <laughs> Louisville. 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 Is that too much? What do you say? That's correct, Louisville. Isn't that correct? No, what? <coughs> I don't want to know the wrong answer. Louis's Villy. Because <laughs> it's got that E at the end. <laughs> Louis's Valet. We know it's Louisville. No, it's Louisville. Louisville. Actually, we don't even really we know. Don't <laughs> we don't know. We have to think about it real hard. Yeah. <laughs> Can you move Louisville. your arm, please? Thank you. Yep. I went and grabbed my sunglasses and got demoted to nothing because <laughs> that is our what you might call it? Navigator. How do you think they got graffiti on the road sign up there? Did you see that? Our original plan was to fly Monday, which we did, and then today, check. yeah, check. <laughs> today, we were gonna go up to the park encounter. <laughs> In, where is it? It's in Ohio? I don't know what no, town it's in. it's in Kentucky. It's still in Kentucky? It's up on the border. It's just called Ark Encounter. Yeah, the Ark Encounter where you can miss it. they built a life-size replica to the Ark. Noah's Ark. So, but they're closed today, so we're going to do that tomorrow. I'm going to miss the first day of the show, but we brought the family to go see the Ark, so we're going to go see the Ark. Oh, look, there's this farm show. That's it. That is it, y'all. <laughs> Look at that ride in arena. That wall, yeah, that's easy. Good. Dad, you should take some. <laughs> that, that, guys, I hate to say it, but that wouldn't keep the snow out. <laughs> no, you couldn't ride in that one in the winter. Okay. I would be lost if I were driving. That's why we have GPS. Infrastructure, Exit. Macy Sorry. says. Look at that bridge over there. That bridge right there. That is a so cool bridge. Cars, that you would be in, like, oh, Indiana, I think. Use the right lane to take yeah. exit 5B onto 3rd Street and River Road toward downtown. Oh yeah, Tim used to come to this show all the time because they were just weren't that far. Oh. Okay, now we're all of a sudden in like downtown. Who do you think swings that bat? <laughs> God. Uh, yeah. <laughs> think of it's one tree? Metal. Sounds like Metal. <laughs> it's probably a bunch of propane tanks welded together, huh? <laughs> Macy, that was a big tree they made that out of, huh? Yeah, it's so big. It's <laughs> wood. <laughs> yeah, it's wood. Go well, check it out. We read about it. We watched a video. Come on, how much is it made? We know how much it weighs. It's nine foot in diameter. It says somewhere. It's right here, guys. There's a sign right there. Oh. <clears throat> I, can't, I can't read it. I got your camera in. Yeah, this is the exactly what it says. 68,000 pounds. It's like a load of, that's like a load of grain. Ton. Diameter, nine feet. It's so... 120 feet tall, nine foot diameter. <laughs> go for it, let's see it. Not gonna happen. All right, let's go in. Do we remember any statistics besides 1.8 million bats. bats a year are built there? Each plague gets like 100 bats per season. Oh, you said, I didn't miss that. If they're signed with them. 
Yeah. Oh, that's part of their contract. Yeah. So really that cool. Was really, neat. really cool tour. Fun little tour. Little wood shop turned into something pretty incredible. Yeah. Remember the total bats it made so far? A hundred and. This is the third and final call. The total yeah, clock like goes right. back to lot. door. So My favorite part was during when they talked about World War II and all the women um, yeah. made gun Just stocks. Just called baseballs on the floor of the war. Yeah, really cool. they, they made gun stocks right for World War I. I didn't see about the other wars, but yeah, they've been involved. No, 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 no. They've been involved in, oh, in, in every, every war, war but one of the picture in there they should have built gun stocks. Go spot that and find it when you come to tour. The Louisville, Louisville Slugger Museum and Factory. That's not how you would say it. Okay, that got awkward. <laughs> even even in Louisville, it's just like the farm, we got Jake Briggs. Yeah. Because we just missed him. Maybe we gotta hear it. We snuck into the show. We've only been here like three hours. This is the time to come see the show, which you can't unless you're an exhibitor. So don't try it. But look at these But guys. we wore these three out. Yeah. What are we doing? Oh, chilling, cause there's a lot of walking and doing more. Yeah. You've only just begun. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, you get like three more days of this. Tractor! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> we're a day early, but we're gonna wait in line. You guys ready to wait here in line for like 12 hours? No. No, 24 hours. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It'll be a long. Or should we just go hours. hang out with them tonight instead? Yeah, there sounds better. We're gonna get in line to see Larson. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be the first ones. We're just gonna stay here all night long. Okay. Okay. Sleep right here. Yeah. <laughs> There's carpet we can sleep on. Yeah. Really yeah. nice carpet. Okay, guys. What do you think about a farm show the day before the farm show that you didn't expect? Mm. It's really big, and it's... your legs get really tired, and it's a lot of some different smells that <laughs> smell like the shop. Yeah, I didn't expect that smell. Yeah. Like it's dirt. chaotic. There's like very organized going... chaos. But wait till you see yeah. people filling all those aisles tomorrow, and you can't get around either. But. So what I about you, Shorty? The West chair and don't move all day. What do you think, Shorty? I don't know. No opinion? No, not really. <laughs> no opinion. What did you not expect that you found? Ooh, uh, not expect? Hold on. We have. I really want those things that they hold that hold all the like magazines for the, uh, all the companies. They just like pop They're up. Like accordion. Oh, up all of the those. brochure displays. Mm -hmm. For I mean, what reason? Her. Just to play with it. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> you with you it. think they're cool? <laughs> That's funny. I don't think I was surprised by anything. Um, I actually... <laughs> the thing that makes the biggest difference is the quality of carpet. <laughs> Am I wrong? No. At each display. Like, yeah, at the game, so I can tell done. that Case outdid John Deere on the thickness of the comfort pad under their carpet. John Deere. Uh, right? John Deere has way more space that they only, took up. But only one booth. I don't think oh. they There's two, two case booths. wanted to spend that much oh. money because they didn't think people would be criticizing them on the carpet. I don't know. It's <laughs> going to make you want to hang out longer. I think there's a, something psychological about it. I bet there's research that's been done. Whether you spend five thousand dollars or ten thousand dollars on the your carpet, carpet in your booth, it makes a difference. So shout out to Big Red <laughs> and everybody else who bought good carpet for the show. Yeah, yeah, it's a difference maker. I'm guessing I throw that all the way after the show because I can't imagine thousands of footprints and mm -hmm. street shoes. It's gonna be wasted. No, I got one good use. Yep. But yeah, I'm glad we came today as opposed to. I mean, we'll be back, but. You gotta have one of these to come today. Yeah. Exhibitor. I work. Yeah, someone. we're employees. Yeah, employees. All right. We're approved. Now where to? I don't know. Ice cream. Third vehicles. You've entered the parking lot for your destination. <laughs> the Ark Encounter. What you guys think of that little boat? <laughs> it's a lot bigger than ours. The door <laughs> it's is a little huge. bit bigger than our boat. <laughs> Well, we couldn't get this close to the Ark Encounter and not come and see it. So that's what we're doing today. That big boat we just showed you, that was the Ark. And we are now going inside.
17 and so a half So almost inches. the same size as the Mega Shed. <laughs> 85 feet by 510. Oh, Macy, you're running with Are those baby giraffes in there? Uh, maybe pigs or something? I don't know. Well, we jacked out the Ark with our good friends, the Corleys. And you remember uh, back after the derecho in yeah. Iowa, yeah. we did a fundraiser with Nick Welker. And uh, what did we raise? Like $32,000? Yeah, it was it a was. lot of money. It was impressive. From yes. you guys, from watching the channels, from yeah. Welker's channel and ours. And they ended up buying a big, like a scissor boom lift. Boom yeah. Lift. yeah, we bought a 50 foot lift. Uh, enables us to do a tremendous amount of help uh, when we do disaster relief. Uh, helping homeowners with high hanging tree limbs and then also just in a variety of other ways uh, with our ministry we we use that lift almost every day and so stepping out missions is yep. the group that the money went to and you guys go in and help after natural disasters clean up hurricanes yep. anything yeah well that's one of the things that we do uh, we we tend to do quite a bit of that traveling all over really United States but then also just locally uh, in the Midwest there in Ohio where we're located we help a lot of church camps a lot of churches so that lift gets used all the time so thank you guys again for your uh, very kind donations and helping get the get more equipment in your guys hands so you can help out more people absolutely I told Tony I think he's ready to shave again so just an idea what do you need to buy this time the needs never end. That's we right. could use uh, all kinds of stuff. But in all seriousness, from the bottom of our heart, and truthfully, on behalf of all the homeowners that we serve, the ministries that we serve, um, the requests never stop. And that equipment enables us to help them, and uh, their lives are touched and changed. Uh, so thank you. Thank you so much for your participation. Yeah, stepping on missions again. Yep. And. Uh... You're always probably looking for help crews as well. So. Right, exactly. Always looking to just see what we could do to plug people and connect uh, solutions to the needs that are out there. So, yeah, appreciate you, Tony, and all the all of you that are uh, watching these things on the different channels. Thank you so much. Just left the Ark. What are your impressions, ladies? You're kidding, right? No, I'm not kidding. Macy, are you awake back there? What do you think about it? It was fun. Totally worth yeah. seeing and experiencing for once in your yeah. life, isn't it? I like the head of uh, the living quarters. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty impressive. What else, Farmer? It's a really cool way to create a museum on the history of the Ark and actually have brother just putting in a building build the Ark. But it's yeah. definitely a destination at the same time. Mm -hmm. So, like, it's a tourist, definitely a touristy spot with lots of really cool biblical history. Mm -hmm. And it's pretty impressive to think of how big it was. The thing we were not expecting. Jill and I did not know that Noah had T25 Torx screws. <laughs> a lot of them. A lot of them. And H bolts. No, but, <laughs> they talked about that stuff. Yeah. Like silly goose. And they did explain how it was different from the Ark. The actual. The actual Ark, because there's not a whole lot of biblical description about it, as much as there is just talk about it. So a lot of it is interpreted, but the size of it's the same. The amount of floors are the same. And the animals. So, yeah, if you're in this area of the world, definitely go check it out. Even if you're not in this area, close, go check it out. It's worth the drive. And we ran into somebody from Broadus, Montana. Yep. Uh, driven. Came to the farm show. 
too, but happy to see him here. Yeah, it's kind of fun. So it's worth a drive. Okay, what are you doing next? We are going down a steep hill. It's at a congested area. I get to go this to... This is so unfamiliar style of driving for us. Yeah. <laughs> we're heading back to the National Farm Machinery Show because I get to go with our salesman to a VIP event to go check out the new Case Combine. That's what I'm going to say about that right now. Combines! There's a combine right there. I don't know what they're combining around here. <laughs> bet you could go talk to that old farmer there walking across his yard. Too bad we didn't have time. Well, we're just finishing up our meet and greet here at the May West booth and uh, hung out here for a few hours and thank you guys for stopping by and saying hi. What's uh, new for May West? Well, for starters, did you want me to sign this for you? Yes. Right yes. on top of my bald head? Yeah, that would be a great spot for that. <laughs> I'm kidding. First of all, thank you Tony for coming in. You it bet. was a pleasure. So, um, we have a lot of new and exciting products starting with our kernel keeper. Okay. Um, about, uh, seat right plates, being able to put, uh, plant small grain in your um, dry tamer, our skid hitch, and our last product that we just brought in, this lock and lube and lock and flate products, um, accessories for your grease gun and, and uh, your air compressor, been a lot of interest in that. Yeah, well uh, those are handy, the lock and lubes have been great on, on the grease guns, so, yeah. and that hitch, we started using that hitch you sent us for the skid steer, really handy, so be able to grab different, uh, different Receiver hitch attached to throw it in there and all that works great. So, right. right, yeah. So, what's next for you? Go walk around the show. You might want to see it, huh? I want to see it. You don't want to go home first? No. <laughs> I don't the, believe you. The tractor pulls last night, which their championships are this week, right? Is that what you understand too? Yeah. yeah. So they're yep, pretty right. impressive. The I watched some clips this morning from my phone I recorded, and it doesn't do them justice. No, it is incredible. No, the energy in that um, in that building when the when the tractors take off is unbelievable. It, the whole building shakes, literally. Yeah. It's wild. So if you're at Louisville for the farm show, make sure you see the indoor tractor poles. They'll never forget that. You will not forget it. No, so, that is a must see. Yeah. So, Thanks. I'm going to check out the show. All right. Best way to see it all. Yeah, this is the bird's eye view. Yeah. It just goes on forever. Well, it is good to be back home, home from the farm show. Had a really good time, fun with Mae West. Had some fun with the Case H guys as well for the uh, VIP event. We ordered a tractor, so we got invited to see the new combine. Lots more details on that to come out in the future. And no, it is not just a yellow New Holland that they put red side panels on. It's completely rebuilt. Nothing, very, 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 very few things even similar besides the twin rotor. 
on that new combine compared to the New Holland combine. So be looking for that in the future. Lots of new videos coming out on that, I'm sure. There's some stuff from Case H already out. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. If you haven't been to the uh, National Farm Machinery Show and the tractor pulls, definitely worth going to see. Huge show, awesome indoor tractor pulls. Like, you'll never forget that. So thanks for watching. Don't forget, farm hard, pray harder, and we'll see you next video.